welcome to another video. Um, like I said last time, uh, first thing I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to change all the valve springs. I've got some uprated ones here from um, they're from Brands Hatch Performance. Um, I've actually done two of them already, so there's a comparison. That that's the original valve spring. That's one of the uprated ones. This is a lot stiffer. So this is the tool I've been using. Um, that is the removal part of it. There's a magnet in there, and you basically you just you just put it over the valve like that. Put a, I'll put a rag underneath to stop the valve pushing down. You do that, if you can push down on it. There we go. And it all comes out. And it's being magnetic. The valve keepers are down in there, so I take another little magnet like that and take the valve keepers off. Take the valve keepers out. And just remove the old spring. I mean this this would be an ideal time to do the uh valve seals as well but if I'm honest I'm in quite a rush to get this done and I haven't been able to find anywhere with them in stock um, so we'll see how it goes hopefully these ones will be okay that's the new spring in it's the collet on top so to insert the keepers it's got this part of the tool which is slide in there I must spring loaded. Yeah. Put the keepers in as you normally would. And the collet. Excuse my nose, I've got a bit of a cold. Yeah, so put them in the collet. You take that part, put it down between the keepers. Like that. And you push down, just push down, and that's it, that's it, dead easy. So my battery ran out of my camera, but um, that's them all done now. Uh, that's all the old ones in the bag there. Um, yeah, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean the faces up. I've already done that. I'll show you. I'll, qu I'll show you quickly, quick before. Yeah, so this is after. I know you can see it's just us just staining. I mean, it is completely smooth to the touch. Um, you know, some people say you've got to get completely get rid of all the staining, but it is 100% smooth to the touch. There's there's absolutely nothing there. Um, yeah. So the way I do it, I put shaving foam down in all the waterways and oilways. Um, I got this for, tip from an old uh, from a hot rod forum. Yeah, so I've got shaving, shaving foam down all the galleries and that catches all the crud and rags down in the cylinders of course and that catches all the crud um, I scrape it off yeah, I scrape it off with a blade, I, I actually use this I know mean, some people say you shouldn't because it can gouge the aluminium but it's, it, you can see it's wider than the width um, of most, most of it so you know I, I was obviously I was careful and I got away without like damaging any of it. Um, 
so that's what I do to initially get the worst of it off and then I put some acetone on let that soak in and then I go over with a really fine sanding sponge and uh, it comes out pretty good it's not bad so that's that's the block surface um, I'm going to do the head now. I'm going to do the same technique on the head. Uh, now, obviously, ideally, I should get this properly resurfaced, um, but I've got no reason to think it should be warped. It's not like the engine overheated. Um, I took it all off in the right bolt pattern, um, so there's no reason to think it it should be warped. So I'm just going to clean it up using the same technique as I use on the block. Um, if I if I can't get it smooth enough, um, I'll have to bite the bullet and get it resurfaced. But we'll see, we'll see how it comes out. You can see the shaving foam in the oil ways there and the water calories. Obviously, I didn't bother put it down the bolt holes um, because. You know, I'm just blast that straight through. I know I can flush it out and it'd be the head is a lot easier on the block, but this will catch the majority of it, well all of it. And I'll just flush all the uh, I'll just flush all the shaving foam out after. Next thing I do is um I take that sponge. I take the sponge and I uh on it. Sponge all the acetone, sponge all the acetone into the surface. Of the head gasket material. Get good and soaked. You should really wear gloves when doing this because acetone can, acetone can be nasty on the skin. So yeah, let that soak um, for a bit, um, and then when it's soaked, oh, it's probably not going to come off great at the minute because I know it's soaked a lot, soaked for long. But when it's soaked, I just scrape. like that, and it does take the material off pretty well. Um, after I've done that. Like I said, I get a really fine sanding, sanding sponge on it, and then finally I'll give it a wipe down with the acetone again. Um, and then what you do, you just vacuum all the uh, shaving foam out, which has got all the crud stuck to it. And obviously, in the case of the head, you can give it a flush through as well. And that's it. Okay, so that's after going out with the uh, scraper blade. Um, it's actually already pretty smooth. Um, it's, it's amazing how well that works. You can see all the crud that's been caught by the shaving of foam. Works very well. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to go at it with the with the fine sanding sponge. So that's after sanding it for about half an hour with a fine sander. Um, most of that is actually staining. It's it's completely smooth, completely smooth to the touch. But I'm gonna go at it a bit for a bit longer. See if we can get get some more off. Okay, so this is ARP ARP hardware. Um, got the studs there, washers, and the nuts. Some ARP molly lube there um, to ensure the the correct torque. Okay, I've chased all the threads, so nice and clean. Um, so now it's time to put the studs in. They haven't got to be very tight. And um, they've got an Allen key in the top of them, like that. Um, so all you need to do is put them in. And put them in until they get to the bottom of the Thread. And that's it.
there's the head studs in and the gasket in place. about the amount it protrudes. Will it catch on? Apparently it can catch on the camshaft, so I'm going to put the camshaft in and see. Yes, it is on it. God's sake. Okay, the problem I had there is this stud is too long. It catches on the two the camshaft. So I'm gonna have to grind it down. Okay, so I grind like five mil off of that stud and um that's fine now. You can see the top of it there where I grind it off. Obviously, I didn't grind it off in the end, you know, I took it out and did it. But, yeah, I sorted that problem. Okay, so that's all the nuts and washers on. Uh, it's all ready to be torqued down now. Like I said, I'll uh, do it in sequence. I'll do 20, then 40, and then the full 70. Okay, so my battery ran out on my camera, but that is all torqued down now. So I'll uh, just put the clean the shims up, put them back on in the correct order, and then put the cams in, and that is it, ready to go. So the buckets reinstalled in the same order they come out. Yeah, there's a camshaft in, also put the caps on in the exact same order they came out. Um, I don't know if you can see it, it's quite hard, let me turn the light on a minute. Possibly be able to see it, yeah you can. Those two little dots, they need to line up when you're putting it back in. Um, it's not too, it's dead easy. Um, yeah, so that is those in now. Um, they're all torqued up, I've just got to put the seal in that end. And obviously, I've got to take the little the little bolt out of here. Can't forget that. There, yeah, I just spun the cams right now, so I can access this bolt. Just take that out, and then put the seal in over there, and that is this bank done. Okay, so that's that's that finished. Obviously, I've got to do the other bank. Um, I won't cover that in any sort of detail. You don't want to see the same thing all over again. Um, but the next video will be showing the rest of the engine being put back together, um, cam belt. Uh, all the rest of the other accessories, um, intake, cam covers and whatnot. Um, yeah, and then it'd be a case of taking the other engine out um, and putting this one in. Uh, yeah, not too far now. So, you know the drill, like, comment, subscribe, um, and yeah, see you in the next video.